Hello everybody to the viewer and uh, in this video we will see what are lambda expressions and how it has made the life of developer very easy. So let's quickly jump on to the concept. So suppose I have a method. This method takes a number and then it prints the number to the console. Now if I want to call this method with the help of delegate and uh, you need to have a little bit understanding of delegate to understand the concept of uh, lambda expressions. Now, if I want to call this method with the help of delegate, I can make use of action. Why action? Because action does not uh, return anything. It points to a method which does not return anything. So this method is returning void. So I can just uh, my action right here. And then I can just pass, pass this method to this function test. And uh, I think it's a integer. And then if I want to call it my action, my action, and you can pass a integer value. When I'll run it. then I can see 5 okay now here I am pointing to this method what if I don't want to write this method can I do this yes of course you can do this you, let me just comment this method and then if I want, if I want to uh, make the same method which is pointed by this uh, action delegate then what I can do I can write okay what my action is my action is taking an int so I can write any variable a such that you know uh, you can say that okay a is my parameter such that what I want to do with this I just want to print it to the console console dot write line a and then I achieved the same thing with the help of lambda expressions so this is the syntax of lambda expressions so lambda expressions is all about uh, writing a function easily. So let's take another example. Suppose I have uh, this method. Now this this method. Uh, oh, I did it wrong. Let me uncomment it. Now this method takes a number and then returns a number. Now what to write here then? Okay. So for this, I think you can make use of func because func is a delegate which also returns something. My func, and then we can pass test two method here. Test one method here. And again, I wrote string because uh, earlier I was making an example with the help of string that's why I am always writing this my func then call this method and uh, pass a number say 6 and uh, this number is returning that so I can just console dot write line and then print this so here you see uh, my function is taking a number and then returning that number and then my func is pointed to that function and it is printing it to the console so yeah the syntax of func is it is taking a int and the return type is int it's again a delegate so let's run it perfect so 6 got printed now what if I want to achieve this with the help of lambda expression what should be on my syntax so my syntax would be a because it is taking int such that return the same int that's it so a and I'm returning that a only so a is as you can say int and return int so this is what you want to do with the variable that you are putting here now I've com already commented this better let's see if it is working yes it is working so you saw how we can use make use of lambda expression and avoid writing function let's take another example 
So in this method, I am I'm getting a number and then it is returning me bull if number is not equal to six. Then I can just make use of func here only. I can write here bull and then a is not equal to six. That's it. What I'm doing here, not equal to six. I just replace this method, what is here. I can just comment it now and see if my number is returning me bull value. Now it is not equal to six, but it is equal to six. And it must be false. False, you so. saw. Now then let's take one more example so that it will be more clear to you. Now here, it is taking two number and then it is returning the sum of that number. So let's take it. Now here I can just make use of the func only int and then it is returning me int. Last parameter is always return type. Now here I can now I'm, as I'm passing two variable to this function. Let's take one more variable and what I'm returning, returning a plus b. Very simple. Okay why i'm getting this the name it does not exist in the current context hmm. okay now my func and then six and seven my function requires two integer so i pass two integer and then what i need to do with that i need to add so this is the replacement of this method so let's uh, let's comment it or oh, no required but let's still comment it and then let's see if I'm getting 30 yes I'm getting 30 see the second thing now how it is making how we can use this thing in real-time scenario suppose you have a list now list is a combination a list this list consists of these much in teaser now I want to search the number from this list which is greater than 5 so from this list okay I have extension method where now let's go to where where is again uh, it is an extension method to I know enumerable now you need to have the understanding of what extension method is if not then it is okay but as of now you understand that where where needs to have this func you need to pass a, a method to this again it's a delegate and now func what func func is a delegate so delegate wants to a function so so my where method needs a method now one way is i need to write a method i can write a method and then point that method to this or i can just write a inline thing here as i've written already written this a my method expects a says that return me all the number from that collection which is greater than 5 now I can just uh, mm, write a for each loop and uh, quickly see new list and uh, number so that console dot right line and then number and I can quickly see yes 6 7 2 5 and 30 so 6 and 7 5 is coming from this and 13 is coming from this so from this list I got 6 and 7 so this is very simple so wherever you need to write a method you can replace it with the help of lambda expressions so this lambda expression is used heavily in link queue concept link queue to object collection link queue to SQL everywhere it is used extensively so yeah this is all about lambda expressions thank you for